Hey guys, just real quickly before the video starts, I was actually gonna record this little tidbit a lot earlier than I was supposed to. Right now it is 12.22 a.m. I was gonna do this at about 3 or 4. I didn't sleep last night, so I ended up crashing. But essentially, there has been an update to the ongoing case that I have with the state of Indiana. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, if you're new, I'll leave a video down in the description for you guys to go check out, and I would highly recommend giving that video a watch and just listen to all the stuff that's been going on. For those of you that do know what's been going on, this is just a update to let you guys know where we're at right now in the process of the whole disability and SSI case. So if you want to check that out, please read the tweet that I'm going to be providing down in the description below. I'll also put it in the pinned comments. Anyways, hope you enjoy the video. So a while ago I made a video basically pleading to 2K and Take 2. And you guys remember the video that I'm talking about. If not, I'll just put a little screenshot of the actual like thumbnail on screen now, or just the video or something. You'll you'll see it on the screen. But essentially I made that video in hopes that someone at Take Two or 2K would have saw it, not really thinking anybody would actually see it. So today we're going to be kind of doing a part two to that. And more specifically, we're going to be talking to the three major players here, that being Cloud Chamber, that being 2K, and that obviously being Take Two, as you can tell by the title. So. We finally get an announcement of a new Bioshock. It's officially confirmed by Take Two, 2K, and Cloud Chamber. So, this is something that a lot of people have been waiting for for quite a long time. Myself, six years. Bioshock Infinite came out in 2013, so it makes sense. A lot of other people, six years, seven years, eight years, nine years if they skipped out on Bioshock 2, 10 years, 11 years. I, you see where I'm getting with this. People are so dedicated to this franchise. And I really want to reiterate the fact that this franchise is huge. And what I mean by that is the love from the community and the fans for this franchise is huge. If you don't believe me, you can go look up for yourselves, anybody that's working at Cloud Chamber, anybody that's working at Take Two or 2K, just look up how many people actually care for this franchise. Hell, let's go with the financial aspect of it. Look at how much money the Bioshock franchise has made you guys. Look at how many units you guys have sold. So, it's safe to say this is a very successful franchise with a very dedicated following, a very passionate fan base, and a very dedicated one at that as well. So, why am I making this video? Well, it's for a good reason. So, I don't want this franchise to be tainted. Sure, a lot of people have their gripes with Infinite, and sure, a lot of people have their gripes with Bioshock 2, but Bioshock 1, even though it is over, what, 12 years old? I think it came out in 2007, if I remember that correctly. Yeah, roughly 12 years old. It is one of the best games ever made in terms of atmosphere, music, story, character development, voice acting, you get the picture. Bioshock was a classic. For me personally, I really enjoyed Bioshock 2, and I really enjoyed Bioshock Infinite. Wherever you guys are on the end of the spectrum, whether you liked Infinite, didn't like it, if you liked 2, didn't like 2, etc. You can still admit that it was at least a fun experience to play. Now, please, Cloud Chamber, 2K, take two. Do not mess up this franchise. Do not fuck up this next game. 
and I apologize for swearing, but obviously, with my channel dedicated to your game and your franchise, this is something I'm very passionate about. I do not want this new game to taint the legacy that is the Bioshock franchise. A lot of people will agree with that, and a lot of people have agreed with that, because I've asked on a multitude of different times, do you guys want a new Bioshock? And if not, why? And a lot of people said they do not want to see the series be ruined by a new game. Lo and behold, we get confirmation of a new game. We get rumblings of multiplayer designs that you guys are hiring. We get rumblings of endgame strategists and stuff like that. And although I wouldn't mind DLC for the game, if it makes sense in the context of the game, like let's say it goes back to Rapture for whatever reason, you play the story, you beat the game, and there's a DLC where you can relive the Rapture Civil War. You can relive Rapture before the Civil War in its heyday. Leading up to the Civil War, you can participate in the Civil War, etc. I'm okay with that. What I'm not okay with is the multiplayer first mentality. I do not want the multiplayer to take precedent over the narrative story of this new Bioshock game. Because you guys know, as well as my community knows, Bioshock fans know, Bioshock has always been story driven. Sure, Bioshock 2 did something unique. It added a multiplayer aspect. And you wanna know something? It was just in addition to it. It wasn't the main focus. It was an addition. It was a novelty. It was something you could do if you wanted to mess around with different weapons or different plasmids or just mess around in general. It did not take priority. That's what I'm trying to get at. If you guys make this Bioshock and this multiplayer or supposed multiplayer is the number one priority to, I don't know, litter with transaction, or, sorry, microtransactions, or try to make transactions from your players by cosmetics, weapons, just microtransactions in general. That's basically the point I'm trying to get to. People are gonna turn on that game very quickly. They'll go back to the original Bioshock franchise, you know, the three games, not the new one, and reminisce on how good those games are. So I'm just trying to help you guys out. As someone who is as dedicated to Bioshock as possible, as someone as passionate as I am about this series, I want to warn you, please just, just don't mess this up. Cloud Chamber, 2K, Take 2, Please do not fuck up this new Bioshock. I, along with my community here on YouTube and the rest of the Bioshock fans out there, wish for you to not mess this up. And trust me, I want you to succeed. I have faith in you guys. I have faith that you can continue the legacy of the Bioshock franchise. I have faith that you can continue to give classic games. I want to have that faith. I want to be able to trust you guys. But it has to be a two-way street here. I understand you're a corporation. I understand that full-heartedly and just completely. But if we're going to have any sort of relationship between the community and the developer, you guys need to be transparent with us. We need some sort of roadmap indicating what your guys' plans for this next game are. I don't want it to be released and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, uh, here's a decent story, multiplayer, etc. I just want you guys to be transparent with us and the community will be transparent with you. So I'm gonna say this one more time. As a warning, please, not even a warning, more like me begging and just asking Please do not mess this up. Do not mess up this new game. Now, 
2K, Take Two, and most importantly, Cloud Chamber, please, the ball is in your court. Do not mess this up. Thank you.